Good morning, everyone. Welcome. My name is Menachem Creditor. It's my honor to serve as scholar in residence and rabbi for UJA Federation of New York. We bring you Torah and music, blessing and community every weekday. We've been doing so since March 18th, 2020. Today is October 22nd, 2024. That is more than four and a half years of Torah every single day, of powerful friendships, of caring for each other, of learning, of waking up, of saying good morning face to face with friends like Bensi and Chana and Shush. So good to see you. Penny, good to see you. It is broadcast 1,160. Susie and Linda, Ashley and Jonathan, Boker Tov. I hope all of you are safe and well. Lisa, welcome. And Debbie, sending love to Colorado. Marilyn and Amy, Kim, Lydia, Arlene and Sunday. Good morning. Hi, Adele. Good to see you. Hope everyone is safe and well. Sharon and Deborah, Boker Tov, Anya and Natalie, Catherine and Blair. Good morning, friends. Catherine, have I said recently how, how much it moves me that you are part of the community from Australia and have been every single day, basically, for so long? Whatever time it is by you, thank you, thank you. Your friendship over the miles matters so much. I can't wait one day to meet you in person. Blair and Barbara, Rose and Shari, Diane, good morning. Joyce, Boker Tov, Cheryl and Janice, Siona and Peter. Peter sending love to Frankfurt. I believe that's where you are right now. Also so touched, so touched that you're part of this community. Good to see you. Uh, Penny, welcome on both platforms. Israel Campbell, my beloved friend. So good to see you. Friends, if you're looking for an educator par excellence, he is a tour guide at Yad Vashem, Yisrael Campbell. He's also a phenomenal comedian, stand-up comic. He also takes walks with people in Jerusalem. And if you want really good companionship, let alone the possibility of friendship, let alone wisdom and humor, Yisrael Campbell is your person. Really good to see you here. Chag Sameach, Moed Tov. I hope you and yours are safe and well. Michelle, good to see you. Cecile and Jack. Judy, you're in Yerushalayim right now. So honored that you're here. You just met with Tali Levanon from the Israel Trauma Coalition that we uh, founded and we continue to help fund. So glad that you're there, grounding us in our work. Brian and Iris, Amy and Corinne, good morning. Susan and Linda, Bokitov, Anka Alex. Friends, oh, I have so much to say about so many people here. I'm so happy to see all of you. Alex Weinberg is one of the best Jewish educators alive today. You want to find him, he's in Cherry Hill, or wherever he might be. Carol, sending love to West Palm. Linda, good to see you. All right. I've said hi to almost everybody. I'm sorry if I missed you. Michael, so good to see you. Michael Rubin is a wonderful author and a good person. All right. I've got nice things to say about so many people. Look at the sweet souls that are here this morning. Take a breath. Sing a blessing. Let's learn some Torah.
All right, friends. Let's take a breath. Today is broadcast 1160. It is day 382 since the war began on October 7th. We are alive. We are demanding the return of our families. We have learned Torah every single day. We have fought for Jewish dignity every day. We have lifted up our communities every single day. We have said good morning to each other by name every single day. We have not ceased the urgent sacred work of being human, not for a day. And so what I wanted to do, friends, today is point to an incredible blessing in our midst, a blessing that is part of the ritual life our people has been so lucky to experience year in and year out. In the next coming days, the final part of the holiday, both the holiday of Sukkot, that ends sort of with Shemini Atzeret, even though it's its own holiday, and then with Simchat Torah, and in Israel those days are combined. Those days in Israel one day were the day that our lives changed forever. The single most violent day, the most hateful day against Jews since the Shoah. But I want to point out something that is beautiful. We are still here. We are fighting harder than we've ever fought before. Fighting countless fronts. Look at how beautiful we are. Look at how beautiful we are. When I was in Israel with the staff of UJA in August, we had a tour guide, wonderful, wonderful guy. And some of us had not been to Israel before. Right? It's an amazing thing that in our group of, I think it was 26 of us, three of, three of the staff members had not been to Israel before. And it is so important to keep on not just going to Israel, we are gonna go, I'm hopefully heading there in two weeks, but we have to go and we have to bring our beloveds for their first times. Israel is Israel. As changed as everything is, as hard as things might be, Israel is Israel. We get to begin again. We do. This, um, this uh, guard that we had reassured the, the first timers in Israel and said, listen, you don't need to worry unless you see me running to Miluim to reserves, then you need to worry. Well, we got back, we weren't, we didn't have reason to worry, thank God. And he just sent a picture this morning saying, it's been a hard month in Lebanon, but I'm coming home. I told you you didn't need to worry, ha ha ha. That's what he wrote. I am so moved by his service and by the service of countless sisters and brothers in Israel, Jewish and Druze, Arab and and Christian and whatever permutation of all this stuff, those working to defend our homeland are so many, are so many. It is so powerful to know that we are still here and somehow we manage to laugh. Look at me, friends, when I say to you, we are here and we get to begin again. This week, on Simchat Torah, our Simchat Torah, that no one can take from us. No one can take from us. We begin the Torah again. This week, we begin again. Not only do we end the Torah this week with the sadness of losing Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses our teacher, but it is a heref ayin, it is the blink of an eye between putting down the Torah with which we will read those final verses the legacy Moshe Rabbeinu bequeathed to us. And then we open the next scroll and we begin again. Breshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve'et ha'aretz. In the beginning of God's creating the heavens and the earth. Now you might have learned a mistranslation, a very common mistranslation of the Torah. Some, including the King James Bible, begin by saying, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's not what the Hebrew says. The Hebrew makes it a very, very different experience for those who learn Torah. The Hebrew of the beginning of the Torah that we will read this week, An Simchat Torah, again, our Simchat Torah, 
that no one can reduce, no one can take away, no one has the right to contaminate. It is our joyful day. We will reclaim it this year as our day. We will outlast anyone who threatens to diminish our joy. We take no joy in victory. We take joy in life. Reshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve'et ha'aretz. In the beginning of God's creating the heavens and the earth, the earth was tov vavohu. The earth was void and chaos, which means God started with a mess. There are medieval philosophers, and that's why the King James Bible says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. There are medieval philosophers who say that God created ex nihilo, out of nothing. There was nothing before God's creating. And I understand that philosophy. I understand that religious idea. But it is a deeper, for me, religious idea, an act of mindful devotion to be literal with this text, to be more faithful to what the text actually says, and to say, God inherited a mess and made life. We, friends, imitatio Dei, imitate God. We have inherited so much of a mess. Every year we do. This year, even more. And we have the divine power channeled in our bodies, in our souls, in our minds, to make order, to make life, to make beauty. That is what we fight for, the right to live beautifully. And I have to tell you, it is our right. And Simchat Torah reminds us, Simchat Torah reminds us that this has always been our story. The joy of this, the complicated nature of this, the sanctified living, the acknowledgement of the mess. What a gift it is, friends, to be alive. You want to read a beautiful book, a beautiful book, by Rabbi Erwin Kula. It's called Yearnings, Inherited, Inheriting, Navigating, sorry, Yearnings, Navigating the Sacred Messiness of Life. So true. So true, friends. So, take a breath. Get ready to begin again. Yes, we are still in the midst of it. It is day 382 since October 7th, 2023. And yes, 101 of us are not yet home, but we do not give up on their joy either. We need to maintain our own so that we can fight for them, so that we can fight for generations to come. They, they, all of them, especially our children's children, our students' students, future generations will look back and say, what did they do that year? They had better be able to look back and say they remembered to dance. We learn from the survivors of Nova, beautiful, beautiful human beings with shining faces. We have learned what it means to be heroic enough to dance again. So dance again. You, you. Some of us will do it with our bodies. Some of us will do it with our hearts. Some of us will tremble and feel the intensity of the day. All of it fits. But do not sacrifice your own joy. Don't. Shari's asking a good question, and I'm going to ask it out loud and then answer. Not as if I really know the answer. Shari said, who did God inherit the mess from? Friends, I want to answer in the most Jewish way possible. Esoterica and theology and philosophy are fascinating. They are fascinating. But the Jewish response to where did the mess come from is, I don't know. But there's a mess we have to deal with. Let's get to work. So even though I didn't answer your question, that's my answer to your question. Let's dance. There's a mess. Let's dance. There's a lot to heal and repair. Let's dance. 
There's a sadness of Moshe's death. There's the beginning of Breshit. Let's dance. Simchat Torah is coming. There have been a lot of Simchat Torahs in our history. Not all of them come after joy. But all of them are our chance to begin again. Begin again, friends. And again. And again. And again. Tomorrow we will learn. And then tomorrow night begins the end of the Chag. Shmini Atzeret and then Simchat Torah. Please, friends, in your own way, dance. Dance. Dance for them. Dance for you. Even dance for the Divine. Dance with the Divine. Everything is possible again. Believe that. That's how we win. Send your hearts with me on this 382nd day since October 7th, 2023. Send your strength. Send your heart. Send your hope. Kolon valevav penima nefesh yehudi homia ulefate mizrach kadima ayin letzion sofia on lo avda Tikvatenu Ha Tikva Bat Shnot Alpain Liot Amchovshi Beyatenu Eretz Zion Virushalayim Liot Amchovshi Beyatenu Eretz Zion Virushalayi. Bring them home now. Am Yisrael Chai. See you tomorrow, my friends. Chag Sameach.